A list from data source component, or LFD, creates a list based on data taken from a spreadsheet. In this video, we will create a sample of the LFD and go through its common features. First, drop an LFD component into a screen of your app. You can choose from five layout options when using an LFD with your app. These are Directory, Newsfeed, Agenda, Featured List, and Simple List. Several of these layouts are used as examples in other articles and videos in our Help Center. From among the five layouts, let's select the directory to add that layout to our screen. After selecting the directory layout, let's preview the list to see what it will look like. Each layout comes with sample data to guide you along setting up your own. In the Preview tab, you should already see a list of people. We call this the List View. Click on a name in the list to view a person's details. We call this the Detailed View. The menu at the top allows you to perform a search or filter the list. Later on in the video, you'll learn more about adjusting the data fields displayed in the list and detailed views, as well as changing or turning off search and filters. Click the Edit tab once again to exit from Preview and click on the directory to edit it. To use or view the sample data, click the Create List Data button. On the pop-up, the directory's default data source name is displayed. Feel free to rename this. If you want to use one of your own data sources instead of the sample data, click the Use Existing Data button, then click OK to confirm the change. Selecting a different data source from the default will require you to map the data fields that will be displayed on the list such as name, title, email and others. Data sources are discussed in more detail in a separate article and video. After configuring the data source, you can configure the data view settings of the LFD, which determine how the list information is displayed on the screen and what happens when a list item is clicked. The LFD layouts each have their own data view settings, but you can customize them. The directory's data view settings, by default, show a summary view with the following text fields, first name and last name as primary text, title as secondary text, and location as the tertiary text. Primary text appears on the top line in the largest font size, down to tertiary at the bottom in the smallest font size. At the bottom of the data view settings, the summary click action shows what will happen when a list item is clicked. In our directory layout, clicking a list item shows the item's detail view, allowing users to view more data about a person. This additional data includes icons for emailing and calling, and a paragraph of the person's bio. More fields can be added by selecting the column in the data source under the field name column. The field name will be used to format the data appropriately. By default, above each field will be the column name as the label. This can be changed in the field label option. Alternatively, you can set it so clicking on a list item opens a website. The link for this must be in the data source. Now that we're done with the data view settings, click back to settings to go back to the main configuration screen for our LFD. Below the data view, there is an option for you to set how the list will be sorted. In the directory layout, the default sort option is by first name, alphabetically, and in ascending order. This sort option can be edited by expanding the accordion. The data field name of first name corresponds to the field in the data source. The sort by option can be alphabetical, numerical, by date, or by time. Lastly, it can be sorted into ascending or descending. To add another sort option, click the Add Another Sort Condition button. This will insert the new sort option below the default. You will then need to define this new sort option. After defining your sort options, you can define how or if you want your list to be filtered. With a filter, you can limit the list to show only specific data. For example, we can add a custom filter that will return only a list of people located in London. To add a filter, click the Add a new filter button. For our data field, let's select Location. Under Logic, select Equals, then enter London as the value. After setting sort and filter options for your list, you can choose to limit the number of items shown in the list. You can set a limit to make the list load faster or be easier to read. You can also choose to leave this field blank, 
meaning that all names on the list will be shown on the screen and a user will have to scroll down to continue to see more. Next comes List Search and List Filter, which are turned on by default for better usability. To add a field that can be used for searching the list, enter the field name in the box, then hit Enter. You don't have to open the data source to know the field names when adding fields to search or filter. If you click the input, a list of field names will be displayed. For example, to let your users search the list for email addresses, enter email. This adds email to the list of searchable fields. This way, if a user types an email address in the search box, it will find the corresponding person. You can perform the same procedure above for filters. The directory already includes all the recommended fields you should filter by with location, sectors, and expertise. In preview mode, we can see how this works. If a user searches by an email starting with jsmith at, it will show matching people in the directory. If a user clicks the filter icon in the upper right, they will be able to filter, for example, by the sector to show people in business. Back in the edit mode under the filters option, you can also choose to display the filters as a full screen overlay. This is particularly useful if you have a filter with many options. All LFD layouts, including a directory, have social features. In the case of our directory, we may allow users to bookmark people in the list. Other layouts, except for the directory and agenda layouts, allow users to like and comment on list items, although only logged in users are allowed to comment. Next, we have entry management, which allows users to add, edit, and delete list items. For example, you can allow people to edit their own profile. For adding and editing, you must have a form on another screen that will allow a user to add, update the various fields, such as name, email, location, and bio. Unless all your users are given edit privileges to your app, this feature is only available to logged in users. The system must know who is logged in to allow them to edit their own information. This is set by selecting the data source where app users are listed, then selecting the user's name and email fields to compare it against their login data. If admins are given access, these options must be set as well as another field that identifies a user as an admin. Finally, at the bottom of the menu are developer options, which are designed for customizing the template code. Developer options are an advanced feature that is discussed in a separate article in the Fliplet Help Center. Once you're satisfied with your directory, click the Save and Close button. As always, please test your app in the preview mode of Fliplet Studio and on your phone with the Fliplet Viewer app.